If you haven't heard the news already, Ricoma has recently launched two brand new machines that are changing the printing industry. The first is our groundbreaking Vision Direct to Garment Printer that I have here on my left. And the second is a series of DTF printers. One is the Revel 2402, 24 inch wide roll to roll DTF printer, and the Revel Duo 1202, which I have on my right here, the 12 inch roll to roll DTF printer. With the launch of these two machines, I thought it might be helpful to go over the differences and similarities between what DTG and DTF is, some of the pros and cons, and what kind of profit margins you can expect to make with each one. As I know to those that might be new to the printing industry, this might be a little bit confusing, so I hope that this video will help break all of this down for you and help you make an informed decision on which machine will best suit your needs. Now, before we jump into today's video, if you like content like this, make sure to smash that like button and give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you keep up to date with the latest videos as soon as they come out. All right, so to get started, let's talk about what is direct garment printing or DTG for short. As some of you may or may not know, direct to garment printing is a process in which you print a design directly onto the garment itself, as the name would suggest. The process is actually quite simple. To begin, you have to pre-treat your garments with a special pre-treatment liquid. This is because the DTG ink needs to bind with the fibers of the fabric, and therefore the pre-treatment liquid acts as the chemical that makes that bond. Now, there are several different ways you can go about doing this. You can use what's called a spray gun to be able to spray the pre-treatment liquid onto a garment or a particular surface area that you want to print on. You can also use a pre-treatment machine like the one that we have here called the Ricoma Sonic Jet pre-treatment machine to be able to use a precision nozzle and automate that process to make it simpler. Or some people just buy pre-treated shirts that are already pre-treated with pre-treatment liquid to be able to just load and print. Now, after you've pre-treated your garment or the surface that you want to print on, you have to cure the pre-treatment and make sure that it's dry. So you would put the garment under a heat press like the one that we have here, the Ricoma 16 by 20 auto open heat press and cure the pre-treatment onto the shirt. Then afterwards, you just load your t-shirt onto a DTG printer like the one that we have here, the Ricoma Vision DTG printer, and you load your design and press print and the machine does the rest of the work for you. Finally, after the design has been printed, you then load the t-shirt back onto the heat press to make sure that the ink cures within the t-shirt and make sure that the design is good to go. Now that we talked about DTG printing, what about DTF printing or direct to film printing? So while both are printing methods that use ink, uh, the process is a little bit different for DTF printing. Instead of printing directly onto the garment like you would with DTG printing, instead you would print onto a special piece of film like the one that I have here. This transparent film is what allows you to eventually transfer that design onto a piece of garment. So direct to film printing is different in that aspect where it prints onto this special film and then with a powder shaker that's already built into this machine bundle, it then puts adhesive powder on the back of this special film. This one is already done, so you see the final product. And then eventually it goes through this dryer or, or oven so that it cures that adhesive powder on the back of the design. So basically, as you can imagine, as these rolls come off the printer and you cut them into specific design sizes like these, you then take this type of film and this design already on it, go to a heat press and be able to press it on and then peel the film off and you're left with a design that is finished on top of the t-shirt. All right, so now that we went over an overview of the process of DTG printing and DTF printing, let's go over some of the pros and cons of direct-to-garment printing. Starting with the fact that in terms of its pros, DTG printers are super versatile for large or small runs. As you can imagine, a DTG printer can print one t-shirt or 100 t-shirts. Because of that flexibility, a lot of apparel decorators start with a direct-to-garment printer when they want that flexibility. Maybe they're doing their own clothing line. Maybe they have this range of different size of orders that they're taking on and it allows them to have minimal setup time to be able to print one t-shirt or 100 t-shirts. Also, DTG printing does not use transfer films. 
the finished product of a DTG printed shirt feels somewhat different than the finished product on a direct to film transfer. This pro of the DTG printer is actually one of the biggest things that apparel decorators love about it in that you don't feel the design on top of the shirt. And some customers are very picky about that. So printing a design that has a smooth hand feel finish uh, might be an important factor for you to consider if you want to do that for your customers and the direct to garment printer is able to make that happen. All right, now that we cover some of the pros of DTG, let's talk about some of the considerations and cons that you might want to consider when thinking about whether DTG is the right fit for you. One of the cons uh, that is important to note is that the pre-treatment process for DTG is required. Because the bond of the ink and the fabric and the fibers of the fabric needs to happen, the pre-treatment liquid acts as that bond to be able to make that happen. Now, if you feel that the pre-treatment process is a little bit cumbersome, you don't wanna do that with a spray gun, or you don't wanna get a pre-treatment machine that can make that process more automated, you can always go with buying pre-treated shirts already so that you can just load and print. The other con about DTG is that because it's printing directly onto the surface of the garment, you can only print on a majority of flat surfaces. Imagine if you're printing t-shirts, polo shirts, jackets, totes, all of those are fine because they're flat surfaces. But once you get into round surfaces or more, cur more curvature, it's going to be a little bit more difficult to have the garment load into the DTG printer when you have a more three-dimensional feel to it. On top of that, direct-to-garment printing can't really print on hard surfaces like ceramic, you know, so you can't really do mugs or metal with tumblers, wood, and things of that nature. All right, now that we covered the pros and cons of the DTG printer, let's move on to the pros and cons of the direct-to-film printer. Starting off with one of the most obvious pros of a DTF printer is that no pretreatment is necessary. You're simply printing directly onto a special piece of film and then curing it with the adhesive powder, going through the oven, and then cutting it into different pieces. Another pro is that the DTF printer might be a little bit more versatile than the DTG printer in that it can print on different types of surfaces. You can do t-shirts, you can do bags, hoodies, you can even do hats and different types of caps as well because you're not printing directly onto the cap itself. It eliminates that factor where it, the surface needs to be flat and it just considers what you can fit under the heat press. So it kind of opens up the door to a more variety of items that you can transfer onto. Finally, another overlooked pro of the DTF printer is that you can actually have a different business model if you have a DTF printer. And what I mean by that is you can pre-print a lot of these films and just sell these film sheets to your customers and they can just use a heat press on their own and transfer it onto whatever substrate or garment that they want. Another way you can use a stacking up transfer sheets as a pro to your advantage when you have a DTF printer is that if you have preset designs, you can pre-print these and store these on the shelf. They have a long shelf life so that whenever a customer wants a certain design that they pick off your website, you can take that design off the shelf and be able to transfer just that one t-shirt if you want to uh, for that particular customer. Now that we cover some of the pros, let's talk about some of the cons and considerations that you want to keep in mind when buying a DTF printer. First and foremost, as you can probably see, a DTF printer takes up a little bit more space and a bit more footprint than your DTG printer. DTG printer, even without the stand, you can put it on a sturdy desktop, but a DTF printer, you need a lot more space to store the printer, the, the dryer and the oven, as well as the powder shaker. You might want to make sure that your space requirement is adequate before committing to one. The other thing to consider when purchasing a DTF printer is that most DTF printers, like the ones that we have here, require a special outlet. This is because the dryer component of the roll-to-roll -roll DTF requires 220 volts and much more amperage to be able to run it. Think of your traditional dryer at home, right? You have a special outlet for those as well because they run on a higher amperage breaker and you need to pull a special line for that if you want to connect that dryer. So another con to consider with the DTF printer is that it needs a bit more supplies than your DDG printer to run it effectively. For example, you not only need these rolls of transfer film, obviously, that you need to print the design on, you also need these powder to be able to put into the powder shaker and create this glue on the back of the design. You also want to have an air purifier which for our machines here at Ricoma comes with the machine package for DTF printers. But that is something that you want to use so that when it's going through the curing process of curing the powder, it purifies the air, especially when you're in an enclosed environment. 
Finally, in terms of durability and feel, the DTF Intro definitely still has a lot of durability, but when you compare the feel of the DTF prints versus that of a directed garment print, it is going to be a little bit different. Now, I have a DTF printed shirt here in front of me, and as you can see, this was transferred in particular on a white t-shirt. And when you run your hand across this design, it's a very similar kind of full color design versus the director garment print. As you can see, this was printed in particular on a white t-shirt. And when you run your hand across this design, it doesn't feel as hand finished as you would with the DTG print. Again, this is because you are transferring a layer of film, right, onto the substrate and not having the ink directly infused within the fabrics and the fibers of the t-shirt. So you might wanna consider you know, that factor when deciding whether to go with DTG or DTF. All right, now that we cover the pros and cons of each, especially with regards to the printing process as well as the durability and feel of each type of print, let's go over some of the profitability and the cost of investment for each of these types of machines. For example, for the Recoma Vision DTG printer packages that we offer here, they can range between 17 to the low 20s in terms of cost of investment. And the biggest question a lot of people have is, well, what does it cost me to print a particular design? Well, the answer is it really depends, but I can give you a general range of what that looks like. For a single print on a white t-shirt, it will typically cost between 50 cents to a dollar per print. Again, it depends and varies based on the size and complexity of your design, but that's a range that you can typically reference. For dark garments, the range in price per print is gonna be typically wider, ranging from anywhere between $1.25 a print to $3.50 per print. The range is wider and the cost per print is higher than that of a print on a white t-shirt because you need to first lay a white underbase onto the substrate before printing the colors. As you can imagine, if you just print the colors directly onto a black t-shirt like this one, the colors won't really show. After that, you can add on about 50 cents of pre-treatment liquid per shirt and your wholesale price for a blank t-shirt probably costs you anywhere between four to five dollars. Now, because of the quality of the print for DTG printed t-shirts, they go for a bit of a premium on the market. You can typically see t-shirts being sold for about $25 on the lower end, even upwards of $40 on the high end. So if you're all in on the high end for six to $7 a shirt, even on the low end on the sale price of $25, you're making a good $18 of margin on just that one particular print. Multiply that by 10 or several dozens of t-shirts, you can be making a hefty profit on just a day's work. All right, moving on to the DTF printer and what the cost of investment looks like there, they typically range between 18 to mid $20,000 range if you're looking for the cost of a machine like this. On the lower end, it's a smaller machine like this one, the 1202 Revel Duo. On the higher end, in the mid 20,000 range, you're probably looking at a 24 inch machine, which is the Revel 2402 that we also offer here at Recoma. Now, in terms of the cost per print on DTF, they're actually quite similar to that of DTG with one small difference in that if you're printing on darker garments, you probably have less a dollar per print, given that you need less white ink when you're using DTF versus DTG. On top of that, a 328 foot roll of DTF film probably costs you about $200, $220, and that, when broken down to each transfer sheet, you're probably looking at 60 to 65 cents. Keep in mind also though, that you can print multiple designs onto a transfer sheet, what they call a gang sheet, and therefore you can save costs that way if you're printing smaller designs, but having them fit multiple designs onto one sheet. Then finally, your blank apparel cost is relatively the same versus DTG, so four to five dollars on the wholesale level for a blank t-shirt. DTF printed t-shirts can sell anywhere between $20 to $25, upwards of $30 plus. And because they can print in a larger volume with these roll-to-roll -roll DTF printers than you could with direct-to-garment printers, some printers actually be more competitive and price a little bit lower than they would with the DTG printer to compete that way. And as I mentioned before, people can also sell just the transfer sheets themselves. And I've seen them range on the lower end if you're printing very small two by two designs for like $1.99 all the way down to under a dollar if you're getting larger quantities. To on the larger end, if you're printing a 10 by 10 inch transfer sheet, 
you can sell those for upwards of eight to nine dollars, but they go down drastically in price as you scale up in quantities. Sometimes if you order 250 pieces and up, people charge maybe three to four dollars per sheet. All right, so in conclusion, both direct to garment printing and direct to film printing are great ways to start and scale your printing business. That being said, there are some distinct similarities and differences between each of these printers that you might want to take into consideration before investing in one. Overall, both machines, when used effectively, can generate you a significant profit in your business because both can print full color designs onto a variety of substrates that your customers will love. And as I broke down the cost for you for each machine, the costs are relatively similar and the cost of materials, whether it be the blanks, the powder, the film, the pre-treatment liquid, are relatively insignificant per print that allows you to generate a good enough margin when you sell it to the end user. All right, that's it for us for today, guys. I hope you found this information helpful, especially this breakdown between DTG and DTF that I've been getting a lot of questions from customers about. And especially because we launched these two new printers very recently, this is a good opportunity for us to demonstrate what the similarities and differences are between these two product lines. I hope you found this information helpful and that it took you a step further to making the right decision for your business needs. Again, there's no right or wrong answer. It all depends on what type of business you're running and what are your specific needs. And there's always a product to suit those needs. Remember, if you haven't subscribed already to our YouTube channel, make sure to smash that subscribe button so you keep up to date with the newest videos just like this as soon as they're released. And if you enjoyed this content, I would greatly appreciate it if you hit that like button so it lets us know that this content was helpful so we can make future episodes just like this. Last but not least, make sure to follow us on all of our social channels down below. We're very active on Instagram and on TikTok for some entertaining content, so you're always up to date with the latest happenings in the world of decorative apparel. All right, thank you guys so much for watching, and let me know down in the comments below which machine you would pick for your business and why. I look forward to seeing your responses and answering any questions that you might have. All right, guys, Henry here signing off, and see you on the next video.